Okay, here's what to do when you uh, take your 9XR Pro right out of the box to put the battery in. Just pop the cover off. Take uh, any 3S battery, uh, LIFE or LiPo, and uh, any size. I like using a smaller one because it makes the, the uh, battery a little bit lighter to hold. And you just take the balance plug and plug it in right there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then just tuck the wires in and put the cover on. Next, you'll want to put the module in. Here's an orange RX module. Notice uh, it's got uh, the hole there. Just slide that in and snap it in. When you want to take it out, just uh, give it a squeeze. Here's the Free Sky module, same form factor. It's got the holes down there. Line it up, just kind of give it a wiggle if it's not perfectly lined up. And it just uh, snaps in like that. Next, we're going to turn it on. Now, before we turn it on, notice I'm going to set a few of the switches out of, out of place and move the throttle up. And we get an alert. First, we get an alert for the throttle. So we pull the throttle down. And then we get an alert for the switches that aren't to the XR Pro. in place. If you turn it on and everything's in place, you'll come right to this screen here. Next, we want to look at some of the menus. If you push uh, and hold the right part of the Iron Cross, you'll get the Model Select menu. Here's the exit button. If you push and hold left, you'll get the radio setup menu. If we move right a couple of screens on screen six, you can set the date and the time if you so desire. And where we're most interested in going is menu nine, the calibration. So it tells us to press the menu button to start and it asks us to set the midpoint. So we set the six at the midpoint and we set the three pots at the midpoint. And we click menu when we're done. Now it wants us to move the sticks and the pots, their full range of motion. Now notice the first time you move, that will kind of jump. That's just kind of getting the end points of where the sticks are. Don't push it, you know, don't, don't, don't try to force it just move it naturally to the end point of each of the pots and the sticks. And when you're done with that, then just press the menu key. Once that's done, you can check everything out, press exit. And now here you can press up and down to see some of the radio screens and we want this screen here. We can move the sticks around. That looks like that's all good. We can move the pots and that looks like those are all good as well. So once you've got to this point, your radio setup is complete and you're ready to start working on a model.